Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds among light heavyweights between Roy Jones Jr. and Chad Dawson. Roy Jones Jr. is coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. He just missed that shot up top. Little head knocking with that right hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Flush right hand to the head. It's hard to touch Roy Jones Jr. with a clean glove. But if he can, his opponent does have power. Yes, he does have power, and he has a chance to catch Roy. Roy gives you this chance, clean. Because Roy will make you miss, but he'll do it naked. He'll do it with his hands down. If you catch him, bang, you catch him with everything. Accuracy an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. That was nice, he just drew the punch from his opponent, and then a good counter by Roy Jones. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Roy Jones Jr. scoring with that right hand. Dawson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Hits him in the mug with the right. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Jones is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And we come to the end of the round, and you know his trainers got to love that because they stress, hey, go out there and be smart with what you're doing. He was very smart about when to throw and how to land it. And that's the key in the sweet science, placing your punches, as you said, making them count. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. Okay, listen to it. Here we go. Round two is underway. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Cut by Chad Dawson. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Left to the body. Roy Jones Jr. is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Oh, a good right hand by Roy Jones. Blocks that belt line well. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He missed with that headshot. There's the combo downstairs. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Chad Dawson's the target of a hook. Just like that. Just like that. Stylistically, what kind of light heavyweight could go in there and have a lot of success against Chad Dawson? Well, I think you have to be technically good because, you know, he crosses his T's and he dots his eyes pretty well. 
And you have to have physical authority. You have to be able to match his speed a little bit, and you have to be able to think to attack his body a little bit. You know, he's a guy who's a wiry guy and maybe impose some physicality on him. Fine-looking right hand by Roy Jones. And we come to the end of round number two. Jones is putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers tell that story. And round number three is underway. Roy Jones Jr. is banged up by a left hand. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to Focus. worry. Focus. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. So this is about whip, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See him holding on. You got this. One, two, one, two. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Roy Jones Jr. is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He's still not moving enough. Move, move. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Nice. Nice work. You can't. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. A little head-hunting with the left. Good right hand. Roy Jones Jr.'s combination punching is working well here. That was not well targeted by Roy Jones. Well upstairs with the right hand. Dawson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Good job on the two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Jones is doing really well on the outside. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. 
out. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. And round four comes to an end. Jones's punch stats numbers are impressive. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man, completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Not Nowhere focusing. close that Not punch focusing. by Roy Jones. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Chad Dawson. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down, and yet another big shot comes in. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. Dawson's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. A headshot. Look at that. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Over. Roy Jones Jr.'s gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, your winner, Roy Jones Jr. He was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Roy Jones Jr. is now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title. You want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.